out then. Which one is it? Oh, good morning, my friends. I tell you what, let, just go around there because I'm just going to plug my car in. I've got something to tell you. So don't go anywhere. It's important. And yes, this is an electric car, by the way. If you're new to the channel, I have a Porsche Taycan electric car and I must be nuts. However, there is a reason for it and I'm going to go into it. So just, I'll see you around there. I just need to get this thing off and plug this in, which isn't cheap now, by the way. God, blimey. Right, there you are. Right, let me just plug this in. Get that in there. Okay, right. Um, I'll, I'll tell you what, let's let's get out to business first and I'll uh, pay for that in a minute. I'm here because I want to tell you, do not, do not buy an electric car. Don't buy one. And before we start, I am not a conspiracy theorist. I don't believe in conspiracy theories. However, Man on the Moon in 1969, that's a, dif that's a different story. However, I have an electric car and there are reasons for me having an electric car. One of them is that I love technology, etc. you know, computers and things like that. However, I have found out some very important facts about electric cars and it seems to be only me that seems to be telling the truth because I am not sponsored by any, any I'm not sponsored by Instavolt or any oil companies or anybody. I am not sponsored. It's literally just me, my channel, and I get paid by the advertising. So I'm telling you, please do not buy an electric car because you'll never, ever truly own it. It will never be yours. And that's where we're heading. It's all about control. And I'm going to get into that later on. I'm driving to Blackpool today to film some food for uh, for a food review. Yes, you've probably guessed it. It's no doubt a full English breakfast or some fish and chips, but I mean, it is the seaside. So I'm going to take you guys with us along the way. I've got to charge the car up. A few interesting things along the way, though, as well, uh, that I've found out. And uh, some comments that I had on my last video as well regarding the EV that was absolutely hilarious. And we're going to go into them uh, very shortly uh, when I've had, uh, when I've had a, a coffee, uh, which is going to add on to the cost of this as well. Uh, so it isn't cheap to own an electric car. If you're new to the channel, do hit the subscribe button, it's free, it's not like a magazine. And also, hit that little bell, it's important because then that bell tells you when I've uploaded a video and you'll get a notification. Now, without further ado my friends, might as well pay for this, let's go. Right, we're starting off already by the way. It's not letting me charge. I've tried to pay and it says uh, payment not accepted. So I'm going to unplug it. There we go. So unplugged. It's all good fun this. Uh, and then. My fault actually, you've got to pay for it first, then plug it in. Right, let's see. By the way, I'll tell you exactly how much this has cost me, uh, including the coffee from Starbucks. There we go, waiting for EV. Still waiting for EV. 58% I'm on, 140 miles. And it's charging. And the time now is three minutes past eight. I'm gonna give it 15, 20 minutes because I need to get into Blackpool and I haven't really got time to be messing around all morning trying to charge the car. So we might have to put a little bit more charge in when we get to Blackpool, uh, which there are more charges by the way in Blackpool than when I went to uh, Whitby. And the funny thing was, I'll tell you this story now, before I go and get a coffee. Um, the funny thing is, I went to Whitby, did the last video, and one of the comments on the video was, you went to the wrong place on purpose. You purposely went to a place where you knew that there was not enough charging points just so that you could get views for your channel. No, I didn't. I went to Whitby to take a computer to a mate because she'd bought a computer off of me and then while I was there, film a video. So no, I didn't. They're actually, these EV people, the community, 
I'll get into this a little bit now, by the way. I'm a bit of a Doctor Who fan. Uh, I wanted to go and get a coffee. I'm a bit of a Doctor Who fan. And let me go and get my coffee. I'll bring it back out. And then I'll, I'll, I'll tell you the story because it's funny. Don't go anywhere. love how YouTubers do that and hold the coffee cup out. Anyway, £3.30, that's on top of whatever this is going to cost me for the electricity for this car. Right, where was I? Doctor Who. I fathomed it out. Now I'm immune to this by the way, I, I, I must be like the doctor or whatever. I'm the doctor! Um, because Cybermen. I figured it out last night, that's what the EV community are like. And if you do a search for Cybermen, uh, on, on what is a Cyberman on Google. Um, it says during the cyber conversion, they have all of their emotions removed. This is partly due to the horror of the process. Chamber 10, now open for human upgrading. Without emotions, Cybermen no longer remember what it's like to be human and they grow to believe having no emotions is a better way of life. A little bit like somebody who is drawn into the EV community, into the clan, who think it's all for the greater good. When it It's all about the greater good. The greater good. There we go, the greater good. You know, I joke about the greater good, but some of you out there understand what I mean, and that is what this EV, that this whole EV thing is about. Now, st stick with me, stick with me, because I've actually had threats, literally threats on email. I had a guy walk up to me, I won't tell you where or who, but I had a guy walk up to me and he was really, really nasty and said, you need to get rid, I've seen you on the on internet. It wasn't Northern actually, I don't think. I've seen you on the internet and you need to get rid of that EV car because you're giving everybody a bad name. He had an uh, electric car, he had a, he, said, he spoke to me after actually, but he was really, he was quite abrupt and he had, I think, a Nissan Leaf or something. Um, nothing wrong with Nissan, great car, if it's got an engine. Um, but he was really, really nasty about it and I've had a lot of threats from the EV community. So it's like as soon as they get an EV, they have all their emotions taken away. And uh, I mean, come on, Whitby, I went to the wrong place. I'd gone to the wrong, I picked the wrong destination, knowing there's not enough chargers. Let me tell you this, and I know I'm ranting on a little bit, but I, I really, really feel that I, I don't want you to get an electric car. I've got one, I'm keeping it to show you the downfalls and the pitfalls of it, because the, I've already proved the, the infrastructure isn't there. And then we get people saying, oh, you brought one of those people about the, uh, you know, Awesome. When, when they try to get rid of the awesome cart and go to the combustion engine, you'll say that it never caught on. It's different. And the EV car was here before the combustion engine. If you look, it's been there for years. So, I went to the wrong place. Really? I mean, come on. It's ridiculous. And I've had one of my viewers, or a couple actually, from Los Angeles, have said they were all about pushing the electric car. And now... They're actually told, don't charge your electric car in the daytime because the grid's overheating and everything's getting too hot. Don't charge your electric car. So we're being told to buy electric cars, but there's a reason and that's why I'm gonna get into it in the car on the way up to Blackpool and I'm gonna get into why they want everybody to have an electric car. And this is, as I say, it is just my opinion. So I could be wrong, I could be right. song there somewhere isn't there um, however you may be watching this a few years 10 15 years down the line on YouTube thinking wow he was really uh, got the nail on the head there or what an idiot he got that all wrong but whichever you know it's just my opinion and I'd like your opinion in the comment section down below but please do not buy an electric car don't fall for it and I'll tell you why in the car Anyway, I'll drink my, th and I'll tell you how much this has cost me as well. Because now it's quarter past eight, 
I think I'm going to take this off of charge actually. We'll get in the car and I'll tell you what it's cost me uh, and how many kilowatts etc I've done. See in the car. Right, okay, by the way, Starbucks, I have to say, your coffee is better than Costa. Now that is controversial, isn't it? I think this was three pound odd. Um, so um, that come to, what was it, four pound? You, you probably can see better than me because it was back there. Four pound 70 something, was it? For 20 odd miles, not cheap anymore. So if you're thinking uh, electric cars are cheaper uh, and you don't have to fill up with uh, petrol or gas if you're in the United States, um, it isn't anymore because the price of electric has gone through the roof so it isn't any cheaper and i can hear all the ev clan now saying you should have charged it up at home they're always they're always from the north aren't they um <laughs> i didn't charge it up at home because uh, my charge is at the office which is in mansfield uh which is uh, where i used to live and uh I'm, I'm i'm at my girlfriend's most of the time uh, in leeds or a lot of the time in leeds um, and she doesn't have a charger, uh, quite rightly so, because uh, that would be costing her a fortune. So, uh, and it would still cost you more money because the price of electricity at home has gone up as well. Now, let's get down to business. So, I've said, do not buy an electric car because you will never truly own it. And that's the way that it's going because everything now is going subscription based. I've checked on here, I've got a mapping system, I've got a uh, phone connection, etc. I've got updated mapping systems. I'm just looking where I'm going. Um, and all them end after two years and you have to pay another subscription along with a load of other features on this car as well. Um, so basically, just put that on self-driving. There we go. Um, so basically your subscription ends and you have to pay again. So, all right, I still own the car. Well, I'm leasing this car, but if you buy the car then you know, then you own the car, I guess. And that is for now. But you only kind of really own the car. And Apple's going that way too as well. Uh, they're going to like a, a, a hardware subscription. It started with software. So years ago, I used to use Photoshop. I've said this before, which is uh, kind of a graphic designer. And all the software that I, I bought, I bought on a CD, paid five, 600 quid for it. Admittedly, it was a lot of money. And then all of a sudden, Adobe went to subscription based. And your old programs never they didn't work after a while because computers update etc that's the way of the world isn't it um so now you have to pay subscription which i don't i got rid of it uh i use affinity suite now by the way which is uh you, you pay for you don't subscribe to it and that's the same with this car if you watched the last video that i did porsche took off the comfort entry that they'd given me for a year by mistake and took it off on the software update because they'd give it to me by mistake so they remove things from you and that's the way that cars are going everything is going this way you won't own it it will not be yours it will be subscription based everything will be subscription based there's already a subscription based car that's come out what does the future of driving electric look like it's month to month payments for back to back freedom and you pay a subscription for it the car is never yours all the software on it is updated etc and that is the way of the world. It literally is like being uh, a Cyberman. Cyberman, you're brought into that clan. And uh, I don't understand the, p the people that are falling for this and buying electric cars. And that's why I'm trying to make these videos. Don't buy an electric car. It w you will never truly own that car it will always be in the control of the manufacturer. And I know you're gonna say, internal combustion engines are the same, we've got updates, etc. blah, blah, blah. Yes, you have, but they have more control over a 
fully electric car than they will ever on a, an internal combustion engine. So that's what I'm saying. We're going to carry on driving. I want your thoughts in the comment section down below. And I can already hear all the EV community, the Cybermen, the, you know, the people that's been uh, upgraded. You must be upgraded. You know, I can hear them all now. It's all for the greater good. It's all about the greater good. The greater good. I can hear them all. Listen. You're charging it wrong. Troubles are all charging to 88%. Quiet! Quiet! <laughs> Honestly, where am I going here? M60. Right, let's get over. Um, it's unbelievable, and that's the way that it's going. Literally, as well, if I went, I went online the other day to the Porsche portal, and and I know your phone does this. But it told me everywhere that I'd been with this car, it tracked me, told me where I'd charged the car up, how long it had been charged, how many miles an hour that I'd actually gone. And it also told me, it literally told me where, where I'd been, how many miles an hour. How, how, how concerning and worrying is that? Let's just put it that way. Onwards. me it's a bit grim up on the moors isn't it saddle with moors i've gone from sunshine to terrible weather blimey it's grim up north that easy that's i'm just kidding people from the north in fact i said i was from the north the other day fog here we go still there and uh, somebody said you're not from the north you're from the midlands then you get the southerners saying you're from the north you're a northerner. Basically, I'm from the middle of nowhere. Nobody wants me. Um, anyway, um, <laughs> I was going to say, I've also got quite a lot of viewers from uh, Australia and New Zealand. So, uh, hello down under. And they've also said, electric cars are not going to work. If you look at Australia and how fast it is. And I think one of my viewers said that they've travelled. Wow, it is foggy. Um, they've travelled from the uh, west coast to the east coast of Australia and they've done it all in their diesel car and I can't remember whether, whether they've done it in one go or they've done it in two goes or whatever and they said that would never be possible in an electric car and I can hear the electric clan, EV clan now saying oh they're working on batteries that you know will not need charging etc blah 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 it's never going to happen and the reality of it is if you look and it's not really for the government to put in the infrastructure, is it? Because the government haven't put in the infrastructure for the petrol stations or whatever, or the gas stations. It's for the companies, but nobody's taking it particularly seriously because it isn't the future. It's not meant to be the future. All it's meant to do is just take a lot of people off of the road, I believe. I mean, look at the price of electric cars. They're absolutely ridiculous. And... Uh, eventually i think it's going to price a lot of people out of buying cars because ultimately you'll have no choice but to do what they say because as in bradford for instance now it's a clean air zone so unless you've got an electric car you move over here unless you've got an electric car you can't go in unless you pay a fine or pay it's the same as london and birmingham now and it's it's just all about total control over you so please don't buy an electric car hold off you know we were told to get diesel cars years ago i think it was was it gordon brown over in the uk you get diesel cars you know it's better for the environment and then we're told the next minute it isn't better for the environment i mean where are they putting all these batteries that i'm sat on underneath by the way i'm sat on a a, a, a lot of batteries I am sat on here uh, which somehow also makes me feel slightly uncomfortable sat on top of a load of batteries anyway again I want your comments 
in the comment section down below. Tell me if I'm wrong. Tell me if I am wrong and tell me if you agree with me. Tell me your thoughts. Wow, it is busy, I have to say. Right, well, look, just to give you a bit of an update anyway, I'm on 52% now, I've got 127 miles left. There is no way that I'm gonna get back uh, to Mansfield where I'm going uh, after I've been to Blackpool. So I am gonna have to charge, so stay with me, we're gonna find out what charges they've got. Um, they have got they have got quite a few in Blackpool, but um, so the ones that I've seen uh, are only low powered ones. So we're gonna try and find what we can. Maybe just use the motorway on the way back, we'll have to see. What I was going to say uh, is, years ago, um, things that were made and products that were made used to last for years and years. I mean, when, whenever anything was made, it was made real good quality. I've got a, a, a vacuum cleaner, a Hoover, uh, of my mum's that she had from 1950s or 60s, maybe. Um, and it still works, one with a light on the front and a, a bag on it, on the side of it. See the Hoover Junior demonstrated at your Hoover dealer now. There's only good reason for choosing Hoover. And, uh, I mean, it is heavy. Uh, wow, it's heavy. But I still can use it. I plugged it in a few weeks ago, and it literally sucks the carpet off of the floor. It's absolutely amazing. It's still going. And they don't make products like that anymore. It was... We became a throwaway society where everything that was made and produced became so that it didn't last that long and it was i'd say it was i'm going to be careful here i'd say it's done that way on purpose so that you had to replace the items so that the companies made more money because if they made products like they used to do nobody built nobody would buy anything after a while would they because it just worked forever um so where we're going now is, we're going into where you buy something, you don't really buy it, you just subscribe to it. So you'll have a subscription for a car, you'll have a subscription for your mobile phone, which is what Apple are working on at the moment, so that you never actually own the phone, you pay them a, a subscription uh, every month, and then at the end of two years, you hand the phone back, they'll give you a new phone. Which, in some ways, some people might say, well, I upgrade my phone anyway, so that works for me. However, it will be the same with cars. You'll subscribe to the car, you'll hand the car back after two years, but it's all controlled by the manufacturer and controlled by them. So they know where you are, what you're doing, and if they want to shut your car off, they can shut your car off and shut it down. And also, it prices a lot of people out of the market. So a lot of people, I believe, won't be driving cars. They'll be, um, they'll be on public transport. Because, quite honestly, the prices of these subscriptions are insane. And funnily enough, while I'm on the subject of subscriptions, I film all my videos uh, on uh, telephone call. I'll be right back. Right, sorry about that. Um, where was I? Um, on about subscription-based services, etc. Wasn't I? And uh, where we're heading with it, uh, with cars, and um, and I was on about Apple with their iPhones, and eventually they're looking at a system where that you subscribe to their phones, and it is the same with cars. Everything is going to be subscription-based services, so you, you won't actually own the item. And as I've said, it may work for some. Where does it stop, though? Does it, is it your house next? Will you not own your house? Will that be a subscription-based service? Will everything in there be online? I mean, you're already starting to get online refrigerators, um, yeah, 
you know, online televisions, everything is going to become online. So everything could become subscription based. And, uh, but we shall see. As goes for cars though, which is what this is about, EV cars, personally, I would hold off buying an electric car. That is my advice. You can take it or you can leave it. Hopefully you'll take it. I'm sat here driving an electric car, wondering where I'm gonna charge up next. And it's getting more costly to charge the car up. And if you look at the logistics of it, it will never work. You've got your, your um, Tesla people telling me I should have got a Tesla. I didn't want a Tesla because I know that their software is far superior. Also, by the way, if I'm not sure whether there's any truth in this, somebody told me that Tesla, this may be not correct, you could probably pop it in the comment section down below, that because he didn't adhere to something, Tesla shut his car down. Somebody told me that in the comment section, and I have no idea whether there's any truth in it. Maybe hit the Google, let me know in the comment section down below. I didn't want a Tesla. I don't particularly like how they look, and that's why I bought this car. Um, so there we go. Anyway, uh, come on, onwards. I need to get to Blackpool. So I, let me get past this lorry. These uh, lorries have always, they always kick stones up. These, uh, what, what lorries are they? Can you see through the window? Work lorries, them gravel lorries. They always kick stones up and the last one I went by I smashed my windscreen. Um, right, let me just pull over here. Oh dear. Right, almost at Blackpool. Uh, I've got another, well, 21 miles to go. I'm now down to 42% now and 101 miles of range. And I'm thinking, I really could do with putting some charge in there, but I need to get to Blackpool because I've got to get there to film before lunchtime. So it's all this in your head all the time. Whereas, I mean, I haven't particularly got the time to go and charge up at the moment. I haven't got a half an hour to 40 minutes to spare to put charge um, highway maintenance, another one is kicking rubbish up. Um, whereas if it was, ah, oh, these lorries. Um, whereas if it was petrol, I'd pull into the service station, gas station, garage, whatever. I'd fill up and I'd be on my way. But you can't do that with an electric car. So that's the downside of it. Um, yeah, 101 miles left. Now I've got a concrete mixer there as well. Let me get out of here because these lorries the thing is as well if you smash this windscreen then it's not quite as simple as just replacing your windscreen you've then got to have all the computers realigned for the self-driving etc uh, which costs more money and have the computer reset so what happened to the day and age of just going get your windscreen replaced on your way it's all gone hasn't it all gone come on onwards my friends I know what I was telling you. I don't, I don't know whether I told you this. I'm digressing all the time. But I use a program called Filmic Pro, which is on my iPhone to film the vlogs with uh, because I don't use the inbuilt iPhone camera. It gives me more control over exposure, focus, depth of field, etc. All the stuff that you need on a, on a camera. And I bought that. I think it was £17, I believe. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head, something like that, at the App Store. All of a sudden now, because I turned the flight mode on as well when I'm using uh, my iPhone um, 13 Pro Max, so that I don't get any buzzing on it and messages coming through, etc. And as of late, you have to be connected to the internet to launch the app. And I thought, that's a bit odd. Um, and the reason being is because they've now decided to change it to a subscription-based model. So you don't buy the program, you download it, and then you pay monthly. Now they've grandfathered in the people so far, 
by myself who's paid for the app until the next big upgrade and then the next big upgrade of the app I'll be probably left on the old version and then it's subscription based so yet again we're heading down the subscription based services which is why I'm telling you don't get an electric car now I have managed to stop a few people buying electric cars hopefully I'll get you as well to not buy an electric car because you will be upgraded you must be upgraded just like a cyberman you'll be into that clan and then they will have you and there is no going back Fifty mile an hour, police check zone, and there's always one, one man in a white van breaking that fifty mile an hour speed limit. I don't know. Anyway, you're probably thinking, what have I got to gain out of telling people not to buy electric cars? I have nothing to gain. I'm not sponsored, as I said. I have nothing to gain, and I can, I can hear you. Yes, you see, one of you, the clan there, is making money out of the views. Yeah, I'm making money out of the views, but I can make just as much money out of eating a full English breakfast or a bag of fish and chips, which I have to say is uh, it's, it's a little bit more enjoyable, because uh, I like fish and chips and full English breakfast, obviously. So I'm gaining nothing other than the fact I'm trying to get it out there that buying an electric car is the wrong thing to do. I own an electric car and I can tell you it's a nightmare it's not the way to go please don't buy an electric car because you will never truly own it it will never ever be yours and you will never have total control of it don't do it don't do it Now then, I'm thinking, oh, there's a service station up here. Maybe I should just put a few volts in. But then, it's not like a petrol station or a garage or a gas station I got for the Americans and the rest of the world. Um, because there's no, you know, there's no roof on it. So you get absolutely wet through when you're charging your car up. And it's a lot more messing around normally than filling it up with petrol because it starts giving you errors and etc etc so uh, I'm holding off and I'm on 89 miles and 36% so I won't get back to Mansfield uh, with this range by the way this will be interesting this is a video about electric cars and uh, not to buy an EV and I wonder how many adverts have been on while you're watching this for electric cars there think about that for a moment tell me in the comment section down below have you seen an advert for an electric car an EV let me know Right, Blackpool, here we are. Okay, so uh, what are we on? I am on 87 miles left of range. Um, let me just park up here and, uh, and then uh, we'll figure out what we're gonna do because we're gonna have to charge up on the way back. I've got a little bit of uh, filming to do while I'm here. Let me just pull this in. I must be a creature of habit because this is the same space that I parked in last time I was in Blackpool. Um, here we go. Let's pull that back. There we go. There we go. Right, so what are we on? Charge wise. Come on, keep going. So I am on 87%, th 87 miles, 34% left. Um, 
So we're gonna have to charge up on the way back. Don't go anywhere, stay there, uh, and I'll be back shortly. I mean, I'll probably be about three hours, but for you, it'll probably be about a second. So see you very shortly. Right, told you I wouldn't be long. Oh man, right, so 34% left, 82 miles. I'm gonna hit the road. I've got to tell you, by the way, I don't know if you can hear me, I'm not turning the AC off. Boy, it is hot. I've done a couple of videos while I've been here. They're gonna come up shortly. Uh, I did one on uh, happy days and a breakfast uh, in happy days uh, here in Blackpool. And I did one at the cottage fish and chips. And I've got to tell you, I won't tell you what score I gave it, but I have met so many people today that has watched the channel. Um, I've, I've met absolutely salt of the earth. And I've got to tell you, people that I've met in Blackpool really are so, so nice. I met a lady up here, uh, if you're watching by the way, who said, I can't believe I've met you. And she's been around this. She says, I saw your car in the car park and I thought, it can't be you. You'll know who I mean. And she says, oh, I can't believe it. I took a picture for her daughter. Absolutely amazing. She lives here, salt of the earth. I'm going to tell you that right now. Unbelievable. Let's um, hit the road. Whatever people say, I've heard a lot of negative things say about Blackpool, but I won't have it. As I've told you, I've been all over the world and you can find, you can find bad places anywhere you go. But I tell you this, the people here, absolutely first class, um, unbelievable. Anyway, I've, I've rambled on. Let's get on the road because we're wasting electricity. Come on. Right, okay, so um, I've got 25% of battery left, 62 mile range, and I need to get back to uh, Mansfield, which is 121 miles. <clears throat> I'm not gonna get back till 5.23 in the afternoon. However, the problem that I've got is, I've got a, uh, an engineer coming to the, uh, to the house, office, slash office, um, to sort something out, and I need to be there before six o'clock when he's coming, because um, there's nobody else in, just me and uh, it's the heating that's gone and I need it fixing because it'll be cold in the office otherwise uh, and he's coming along and he says will you be there at six I said yeah but that's fine if i would not going to charge the car now I can hear all the EV clan you know saying who's been converted chamber 10 now open for human upgrading like Cybermen saying that you should have planned your journey and done that prior it doesn't work like that does it because i didn't know until about 20 minutes ago that this guy was going to come to sort the boiler so it's these instances where you really just want to go in fill up with petrol and be on your way but i can't so hopefully i'm going to try and put 20 25 minutes in of charge if i can find a charger at the next services um and we'll take it from there but these are the issues that you have but it's look at the comments in look at the the people who believe in the fact that the ev is not the way forward and you're on my side so to speak or you believe that i'm right you look in the comment section down below they literally have been upgraded like cybermen to the greater good and their belief in the ev it's unbelievable and I can tell you how it is. EV, electric cars. I'll tell you what, crap. Putting it bluntly, if we don't want to flower it up for YouTube, crap. So don't buy one. Anyway, come on, onwards. Right, so I've pulled into the services and I'm hoping, because I've only got 18% left, that there are some chargers in here. Now, where are they? Uh, I could, oh, come on, please, there's got to be chargers in here. Where are they? I've just literally pulled into the services. That's the exit, that's fuel. Now, it's normally near the actual service station itself. I can't see any chargers. I might, do you know what? Turn left. I thought they had them at the services. Alright, it doesn't look like there are any chargers here. Oh my word. 
There's a Tesla there coming up as well. No chargers. So there's got to be a there's got to be electric charging points here. This is a services. Nothing. Oh no. This is not good. Right, because now I'm looking for charge points. There aren't any. This is the reality. I've told you, do not buy an electric car. Right, I've got 45 miles left. Onwards. Right, there is one here. Electric highway. I just got to see whether it works. It does say how to use this pump. Download an app. So it looks like you have to download an app. And I don't think you can just do contactless. Let's go and find out. Right, <clears throat> okay, this one's not working. Uh, initialization error and return to start this is not working and you also need to download an app so you can't just do uh, contactless so I'm gonna have to hit the road and try and find somewhere else again uh, but yet again I'm just showing you the realities of uh, EV ownership crap basically don't buy one I'm keep I'm telling you the truth I'm saving you from all this hassle right okay so 18% left um, thank you 18% uh, left 45 miles left of range um, this is just crazy I mean why would you just put one electric charger one electric charge point that you have to download an app I don't want to download an app to charge my car and I can hear everybody now all the people that's been upgraded you know, all the people, the EV clan that say it's for the greater good. It's all about the greater good. The greater good. I've done it all wrong. You should have a Tesla. You should have planned your journey. You went to the wrong place in the country. I've told you I've had that one. You've gone to the wrong place. You went to a place that doesn't have as many charges. Oh, I'm sorry I wanted to go to that place. Anyway, hopefully uh, I'm not going to run out of uh, electricity. Come on, onwards. Right, it's just bleeped up, 37 miles left. Please check range. And I can hear all the Cybermen out there, the clan, the EV clan, who's been upgraded, you know, brainwashed into thinking that the EV is the future. You've done it wrong. He's doing it on purpose. You can hear it. You can hear them all now. You can see all the comments in the comment section. They've got every excuse. I don't know what it is. It literally is like they've been brainwashed they've been upgraded you're doing it all wrong it's, it's ridiculous i have to try the next services and fingers crossed i'll be able to charge up there at the moment i get back at 5 36 i need to get back by six o'clock come on i would say onwards but i'm having to take it easy to i'm going to go in economy so in range mode so i can get a little bit more that means i can only go 60 miles an hour Right. Right, well, I'm now trundling along at uh, 53 miles per hour uh, in a sports car because I can't go any faster because I'm on range. Maximum speed. 60 miles an hour, 34 miles um, of range left to go. Please let there be a charger. That works in the next services because the last thing I need is to be stuck on the top of the M62 moors <clears throat> in an electric car that's got no charge. <sighs> Honestly, I didn't plan this and you can the, the other comments that you get as well. Well, 
did you expect there to be lots of there wasn't lots of filling stations when the internal combustion engine first came out they've got an answer for everything the ev clan who've been upgraded cybermen cyber warriors they've all been brainwashed into thinking the ev is the future it's not don't do it don't buy one just look at me look look at this is the reality it's a nightmare please let there be a charger So, uh, yeah, we've got some chargers here. However, they're in use. Two cars are already in them. So that's brilliant, that is, isn't it? Right, so there you go, you see. Uh, this is the reality. So, uh, GridServe, yep, it's contactless payment. There's two chargers there, and there's two cars in them. So I'm now going to be even later. Uh, I'm going to have to ring this guy who's coming to fix the boiler to say, I'm sorry, uh, I might have to put you off because I might not be back because I've got to charge my car uh, and I can't just pull up and charge it because you see, there's two people in there already. <sighs> this is the reality. Don't buy an electric car. Do not buy an EV. I have told you, and if you make the mistake, that's up to you. You can't say I didn't tell you. You have to wait now. Right, so all I can do now is wait until one of these two EVs has finished charging then get my car in. This is the reality. Oh, let's just put you over there a minute. What will be interesting is, now look at all the comments in the comment section down below. Of all the EV clan, that all have been brainwashed and upgraded like a Cyberman. <clears throat> and just look at their comments and their arguments for the EV. They're brainwashed. I mean, I literally am immune to it. I'm pretty much like the doctor if that, who's immune to being upgraded by the Cyberman. But honestly, do not buy an EV because you'll never own it. And this is the reality. Good grief, now I'm just waiting around like a prat. Oh yeah, and if you're longer than two hours in here, 3.57, uh, you have to pay to stay longer than two hours. Either that, or just get fined. And they won't let you off, even if you're charging your car. Right, so it's now quarter past four uh, and I'm still waiting around for the other two guys to finish charging. So um, this is your reality uh, if you do buy an EV because you can also plan as much as you like but there's people on here and you're going to say, yeah, the EV in infrastructure is going to get bigger though, isn't it? Well, even if it does, just think of how many charges that you've got to have for the amount of cars that are on the road. Um, I'm sorry, but it, it is a load of cods wallop if... if you really think that EVs are the future. This is the reality. I'm not sponsored. I'm not paid to say this. This is my car. And honestly, please don't buy an EV. 
honestly it's just it, it'll, like I say it'll never be yours you'll never own it because it'll all be software based and they'll do whatever they want with it and you've got the nightmare of charging it I mean I'm stood here now 20 minutes waiting around 20 minutes of my life if you work it out the amount of time that you waste in the total time that you've owned an EV that I've owned an EV I've probably wasted about four months of my life waiting around to charge the bloody car absolutely ridiculous honestly I'm so glad really that I'm able to educate people before they get upgraded like a Cyberman uh, into the EV clan right so I'm just waiting for this uh, car to pull out now now bearing in mind I only have two hours in this car park so we can't go over two hours unless I want to pay extra this is absolute it's just it's comical isn't it really honestly but read the comments they'll all be there I'll leave every one of them read all the comments and answer do you give the people who's actually believes me and realizes that this is not the future answer these people that have been upgraded I've got to get in here quickly before somebody else pulls in otherwise hang on let me just pull it in I can't let anybody else pull in this is my space I I'm taking it it's my charger here we go there we go right sorted I'm gonna go and charge this up see you guys in a minute turn that off jeez right at least the cable's long enough verifying preparing to charge come on I've got to get back I'm now I'm never gonna make it back for five now or six sorry preparing to setting up communication still waiting charging right I'm going to need about a hundred and odd mile to get back so uh, I'm just gonna to have to wait around a little bit longer now it's a waiting game right well it's now um, 4.48 I'm at 35 percent and 94 miles so an hour ago probably roughly give or take uh, when I got here um, I'd have probably been almost back to the office now and back to my destination but no I'm st stood here waiting for this oversized golf cart to charge Right, so I've got 100 miles range in it now. I'm going to risk it. Should get me back home. I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, let's get this off charge, see how much it costs me. Right, so I've got 100 miles uh, of range left. It says I've got 88 miles to get back to Mansfield. Um, I've tried to look for the receipt to see how much it is. I'm stressed out as it is. I can't be, I can't be bothered, to be honest. Um, you've literally got to go to a website, find the, uh, I'm driving and I'm all stressed out now, you've got to find, you've got to put in the last four digits of your car. Right, I've just pulled over a minute uh, because, believe it or not, <laughs> my GoPro up there has run out of battery. <laughs> um, I can't find the receipt, you've got to go online to get the receipt. Uh, and then you've got to put the last four digits of your card number in because I've used Apple Pay it uses a different number to your card so you can't see how much it's charged you to be honest I can't be bothered I've just had enough today to be honest I want to get back hopefully this has proved to you yet again not to buy an electric car they are not the future they are a waste of time they're a pain in the backside they cause stress I've not now got to drive back all stressed up and I've got a headache um, I don't know how much that's cost me 
I, I don't give a damn at the moment, to be honest. Don't buy an electric car. You'll never own it. And this is the reality of it. That's all from me today. Thank you for watching. Please do give us a thumbs up. Um, I'm not sponsored by anybody to show you how crap these cars are. Just don't buy one. Uh, don't fall for it. Don't buy one. Don't be pushed into it. Say no. Do not be upgraded like a Cyberman. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Right, so I am back. It is 6.50. Uh, I've missed the uh, guy that I needed to meet here for the boiler uh, because I was sat around charging this milk float or golf cart or whatever it is. Um, it says, please recharge battery immediately. I'm stressed out. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm exhausted. Um, and really, all for what? For the greater good? It's all about the greater good. The greater good. <laughs> I don't think so. I tell you, don't buy an electric car, honestly. Right, I'm going to charge this up now here. Yeah. And no doubt it should be done by about 10 o'clock in the morning. We'll find out. Oh, dear. Right. Plugged in. Let's see how long this is going to charge. I was going to say, you know where you can stick that, <laughs> but I'll keep it clean. It's a family channel. There we go. 8.02 a.m. So, uh, 6.53. So a good 13 hours. See you in the next one. Don't forget, hit the subscribe button. I mean, See you later. I'm, I'm shattered. Bye-bye.